Welcome to the channel, everyone. We are trying to use some different techniques to heat our greenhouse in the wintertime. One of those is going to be a solar option. And today I'm gonna to show you a solar mounting rack that is the simplest, easiest, and cheapest solar mounting rack that you can find out there. And this is great for any small to medium-sized solar project that you have on your homestead. Let me show you what that is. So this is the power rack by a company called Powerfield. It is incredibly durable, very light, and it's got a 25 year warranty on it. This big tub shaped rack is made of high density polyethylene that's UV treated. And the company says that it can stay out in the elements for up to 40 years. Now that's gonna to totally blow away any rack that's made of pressure treated lumber. Those can last a long time and are fairly inexpensive, but with something like this, it's gonna last for definitely much longer than the solar panel will. Let me bring you in closer and talk about a few more features. So if you wanna move this around, you can really easily. My mom can do this and she's 73 years old. This thing only weighs about 17 pounds. So empty, you can move it around wherever you want. It's got these grooves on the inside that show you where to fill for certain weights of aggregate that you will put inside the tub. And then on the bottom, it's got this deep tread. So it's gonna really grip into any ground that you put it on. It also has this interesting partially rounded shape to it. And that's really nice if you are mounting it on a surface that isn't quite 100% even. Because when you span a panel between the two of them, they can shift a little bit to the contour of the land. And this is gonna work perfect for the panels for my greenhouse. So I also wanna mention the nice cutouts on the sides of these, and that's for cable management for your panels. And in the bottom, we do have areas where you could put a permanent stake through it to hold it to the ground, but they also act as drainage points if water does get in here. And another great thing about these is that they are portable. So if you don't wanna set this up for a long-term project, but you need to move it around, that's easy. Dump out the aggregate, pick it up, take it with you. And also when you are mounting these for your panels, you don't have to dig into the ground. So if you are in a harder, more rocky surface or clay like we have, you're not needing to dig down to a ridiculous depth and anchor those. All of the ballast to anchor it sits in the tub itself. And for your projects, they do have a 25 degree slope. That's gonna work in a lot of places. They kind of came up with an angle that's gonna kind of cover the bases throughout North America the best that they possibly can. Because as you know, adjustable options do cost much more. Before I start setting one of these up, I wanna show you the lips where the solar panel sits. On this model right here, we've got this lip that goes across the top. That'll accommodate either one or two solar panels, and I'll show you that in a second. And right here, we've also got a space for an extender clip. And that is if your panels are a little bit longer. And then this locking clip goes on the bottom, and that's all there is to attaching your panel to these tubs. Once you get your ballast inside and your panel on top, and I'll show you how that happens, you will slide this clip underneath the panel and then up and then lock it in place. And then this clip right here locks on the bottom and it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, let me show you that you can ballast this in several different ways. One way is simply finding some concrete blocks and filling it up with those. You can also find some scrap, you know, concrete that you have laying around, some extra landscaping blocks, stuff like that. You will quickly get to a decent weight to hold this down. You're gonna wanna put some shorter ones, of course, in front and some taller ones here in back. We've got shorter concrete blocks for the front like that. Okay, second option. And these two options are great if you need to be super portable. So we've just got some 50 pound bags of sand. You can quickly get a lot of weight in here with something that's closed that you can move out right away. Boom, done. And the last option of course is to fill it with some sort of aggregate. For us, we've got some crushed concrete that we had laying around, it'll work perfect. Now take a look at the markings on here. If you fill to this lower seven inch line, 
that will give you about 200 pounds of weight in this thing. So before I show you how to mount this panel onto our Powerfields rack, I wanna show you that you can use either one rack or two per panel. In this case, I'm going to use one and a half because it's our first panel. We're gonna put it over the whole first rack and then half of the second rack. And then our next panel will go on half of this rack over to half of this rack and so on and so forth down the line for as many panels as you have. If you are interested in this super simple racking system for your Homestead Solar project, click on the link below in the description. And if you use our link, we have a $50 off coupon code for you, which is also in the description below. Now, additionally, before I set that rack on there, I wanna to talk to you about the cost because it is kind of mind blowing. Each one of those racks costs $75, only 75 bucks. If you do two per panel, if it's a very large panel, then of course that's gonna be 150. Don't forget, you also have to pay for the aggregate, whatever you put into the tub itself. If you are splitting it like I am, you are going to save a lot more because every panel, except for that first panel, is only going to be $75. Friends, that is way cheaper for any other manufactured rack out there. Now, of course, you can use wood. It's not gonna last as long, and you are gonna be buying a lot of fasteners and concrete with that as well. And if you saw my previous video on the rack comparisons where I didn't add this in, you'll see that the wood rack costs about $66 per panel. But it is so labor intensive to build your own rack, to cut everything, to screw everything together, to pour the concrete, to set the posts, all of that. Just buying a few of these is going to be less cost in the end because of your time and labor. And that's why I also like the Integra rack because it is so easy to set up. However, this is easier. All right, let's hang our first panel. It's simple, friends. All we're gonna do is slide the panel up, kind of get it over that front lip, and then the lip on the edge of your panel, the aluminum lip, is gonna just slide down right inside of the clips. There's a little bit of a challenge getting everything lined up, but it should line up with no problem. You can see that I have the extender clips on there, but for this particular size panel, I'm gonna need to take these off. And then we are gonna slide them in the lip that is already molded into the tub itself. And that's because our Bovier solar panel is just a little bit too skinny to engage with our bottom clip, these that I showed you earlier. You can absolutely do this with just one person. I've got a bad back and I, all I'm doing is sliding this panel up in place and hooking it over that lip on the top. Now all you have to do is take this bottom locking clip, slide it up the slot, push it up so it goes over the edge of the aluminum frame of the panel, slide it down. Now it's kind of sitting in there and it's not coming out. Just lock it in place with this clip right here. That's it, it's totally secure on the rack itself. This is so super simple, anybody can do it. Now the one challenge you might have on uneven ground is that you'll have to pull this up to get this clip over the edge of the panel. But again, that's super easy. Another thing that I did not mention earlier is that these are so low to the ground that the wind really doesn't have an opportunity to pick these up. It's not like a big sail sitting out there. These are very, very low to the ground. Now, if you live in an area with a lot of snow, you're gonna have to keep it cleared out around the front of it. And depending on where you put it, you are going to need to keep the grass cut so that you don't get any shading on the panel. And then honestly, if you're gonna mount them like this, with one of the racks in between spanning two panels, you're gonna have to get things lined up pretty precisely. Because you can see in this middle space where the panel sits down into, there's not a lot of play in here. So it's gotta be pretty precise. But again, they are super easy to move unless you fill them all the way up first and then try to move them. So get them lined up the best that you can before you put the ballast inside. So let me go over the pros of these racks really quickly, and I'm also gonna talk about a few cons. Pro number one, super simple to set up, very easy to set up. Pro number two, 
very inexpensive compared to everything else out there. Pro number three, they are light as a feather without the ballast in them, of course. So you can move them around wherever you need. Pro number four, they have a very, very long warranty and they're made to stay out in the elements for many, many, many years. I only really have two cons. The first one is that you need the right size panels for these. Now they do make those extension clips, so there are a lot of panels out there that are going to fit on these racks. If you have any issues, you can just call Signature Solar and they will help you match the panels that you are getting to these racks. Con number two is that the bottom clips need to really hook into the bottom of the panel very precisely. And one of the stated pros for these is that they could rock side to side and really go on any terrain, but that bottom clip needs to be perfectly put in there. So I really had to push and rock up the middle one to be able to clip in that second panel. That means they really do all need to be sitting flat and even with one another. I'm excited to have a product like this that I can just move around on the property if I need to. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go check out this video right here, which highlights the inverter that is running our house right now, the EG4 Flex Boss, and it has been awesome. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.